that is house robber and the problem statement is you are a professional uh, robber planning to rob houses along a street each house has a certain amount of money stashed the only constraint stopping you from robbing each of them is that adjacent houses have security systems connected and it will automatically contact the police if two adjacent houses were broken into the same night given an integer array nums representing the amount of money of each house return maximum amount of money you can rob tonight without alerting the police so what do you mean by uh, the statement that is given here so it is said that we can either take this guy that is this guy right here and if i take this i cannot take this value that is adjacent to it i can jump to the other guy that is 3 i can take this or i can take this but it should not be adjacent let's understand with a better example so i've already drawn the recursion tree but for now just leave that aside so i'll be explaining the example what i can say is i have this one two three one i will say i can start from here that is this guy and i can include this into my answer that is this one then i can say i will jump from here to here because it already said that we can not choose the adjacent elements that is this guy i plus one and i minus one let's say if we had something here let's say zero so we cannot choose this guy and this guy so we can choose the i plus 2th guy or i can choose this guy according to me so here i am choosing the i plus 2th guy that is given here so in this question it is not said that it will be moving on by i plus 3 or i plus 4 that is why we are just making a jump of i plus 2 here so the first choice was i can choose this now i went here now this guy cannot be chosen but if i go for the next step i will see that it goes out of bound so only one will be uh, one will be my answer right now let's see uh, and mind you this is just for an example there's nothing here now let's see if i start from here if i say i will not start from here so what do i get if i start from here i get something like sorry i missed this it will be one plus three since i started from here and jumped here and then again jumped then i uh, went outside the uh, bound then i could not rob any houses so this will be my answer that is four if i start from one now let's say if i start from two what will i get i will uh, definitely get two then again i'll definitely get one since i can make a jump of this so one which makes my answer to be three and if i again make a jump i'll be out of the bounds so i will not do anything now let's say if i again say i do not want to start from two what do we do i say i will start from three right i can uh, surely do that now when i start from three now i when i make a jump again i go, uh, go out of bounds within one jump so this will be my answer that is three now let's say again i say that i do not want to jump from three I want to start from the last so again it will be one why so because again if i make a jump what will happen it will go out of bounds and what do we have to return it has been said that we need to return the maximum value of money that we get from robbing the bank or the houses whatever so this is the answer that is four and that is the answer that is given in the output now let's see how we are doing it with recursion so Definitely you must have noticed that there is a pick and non pick condition. I can either start from here or I can here or here or here. So that is why we will be using recursion first of all. And we can either start from any of the indexes. So that is why we will be trying to pick or non pick. So let's say if I say that I will start from 1. So what happens if I start from 1? I add in the value 1 obviously like I said here. Again I can say I will jump from 1, 1 to where? 3. I said this right like here so we make a jump to 3 now when I try to make a jump I see that I will go out of bounds so if I go out of bounds what will I say for here you got a maximum value of 3 you return a value of 3 here right 3 plus 1 now here what was the value that I dropped that was 1 so what will it do it will just add up 3 plus 1 that is 4 and it will return to it 4 
so i got one answer as four now let's see if i say i do not want to start from one so what will happen one will be skipped and it will come here so again i can say that if it is not picked up so what will i do i will take up two instead right so i take up two if i do not pick one so after i take up two what will i do i'll jump to one right so again i jump to one now what will happen again if i try to jump it will go out of bound so what will happen it will return one to it so it is returning one now one plus two now what happens here i had the value as two in this index and i dropped two amount of money here so what will happen it will sum up these two and it will return to it what will it return it will return two plus one that is three so likewise i will go and call for this for which it will return me three so what will happen it will return three from here it will return three again now again it will come here again it will go here and this will return one so what is the maximum out of these elements that i had got that is four three three and one what was the maximum that is four and this is what our answer will be so this is what i have done so we'll be using recursion and i'll be uh, memorizing it otherwise it will give you a tle so yeah let's get to the solution now so i'll be showing the code okay so yeah this is the code that i have written this is a pretty simple code so first of all i took a dp array of size 102 and what i did was i simply just made a pick and a non-pick condition so this is the pick condition as i said and this is the non-pick condition i plus one and why did i uh, do i plus two and i plus one here i'll be explaining you and this memset function is doing nothing but uh, initializing all the dp values to minus one and this is just calling the function and we need to return this okay so now i'll be explaining the actual function which is doing the job here that is this f here now let's see why did i take i plus 2 and i plus 1 like i said in the while i was explaining the answer so let's say i have a value 1 3 uh, 2 and 4 right so i said i can either start from here or i can start from here or i can start from here or i can start from here right so let's say if i start from here what will happen i will add this into my answer so this is what i have done here this is what adding is that is i've added nums of i right so at first the value will be i's value will be zero so it will add it and what will it do i said i'll make a jump of i plus two that means from here i will jump to here that is why this is i plus two here got it and now if i say i do not want to add it right there was also a condition that i uh, did not take it i want to start from three like i said before so if i uh, want to start from three what will i do i'll just simply say okay do not add anything into my answer so this is what it is doing see in this function call have i added this nums of i which i added previously no i did not i just simply said you go to the next index that is i said you go to this index so now again it will call for the recursion now what will happen when i call for the recursion i will see that okay now i can again choose this so i will say nums of i the value is what one now so i's value is one so it will add three plus it will again call the function again it will call the function for what for i plus two and what is this i plus two now this i plus two is nothing but this four right here right and so when you call this you will get the answer as seven for this answer for this uh, uh, test case for this example that we have uh, that i have written here and what is this dp value doing this is doing nothing but just returning the value if i have already calculated it and if the value is not minus one that means it has already been calculated and return this and what is this uh, condition that i have written this is a base condition so let's say if i have a value something again one three two um four something like this and let's say if i am here right now and if i want to make a jump to i plus 2th index can i make it obviously not since it will be going out of the bound there are only what how many elements zero one two three elements right uh, for zero based indexing actually it has four elements but if i try to make a fourth index jump can i make it obviously not 
so if i make a jump for i plus 2th index which is uh, out of bounds so what will i do i'll simply return zero and what is this doing right here this is just returning the maximum of whatever i get so previously i had uh, shown you the recursion tree and whichever was the maximum one that we returned right and this is what this dp of i maximum is giving us and i'll just run this it will work perfectly fine this is getting accepted i have already uh, submitted this i will not uh, submit this again i'll just show you that i have already submitted this will get a uh, get uh, ac here so yep i have already submitted this uh, pretty much so yeah that is it for this code and if you want this you can just copy it from here and thank you for watching